friend. His name is B-U-T-T. And I had to train my B-U-T-T, not the S-I-T on the B-E-D, while trying to S-T-U-D-Y-I-N-G. Because every time he would S-I-T on the B-E-D, while trying to S-T-U-D-Y-I-N-G, he would always find himself falling A-S-A-L-E-E-P. <laughs> Has your friend B-U-T-T ever done that? All the time? Well, it stops today. You see, young people, the bed is not made for studying. The bed is made for two things. <laughs> The bed is made for sleeping, and the bed is made for married people. Holler at your boy, holler at your boy. <laughs> See, if you're going to study, you have to program yourself to study in the right place. Think about it. When I go sit at my kitchen table, my body says, hungry, time to eat. Yeah. When I sit on the sofa, my body says, relax. Time to watch television. When my body goes to the bathroom and take a squat, my body says, yes. <laughs> but notice what happens. Your body knows exactly what to do based on the environment you're in. And see, when you step into bed to try to study, your body says, study? Child, please, it's time to go to sleep. <laughs> when you try to sit down at the kitchen table, the same place that you're trying to study, it's like, ooh, chicken, uh -uh, calculus. Lobster, uh-uh. Language arts, uh. Shrimp, uh-uh. Science. How would it look tonight if I went to my hotel room and I took my dinner and I went to the bathroom and I put my, my dinner plate on the toilet and started eating? That's like, ugh, that's nasty, right? <laughs> or what if I went home and I stood up in the kitchen sink and I started bathing in the kitchen sink? That's not appropriate. So what I want you to start doing is this, when you start to study, find a study chamber. The only thing you do in that place is study. You don't Facebook in that place. You don't watch TV in that place. You don't play with your hair in that place. You don't talk to your boyfriend in that place. The only thing you do in that place is study. My name is Debbie Esparza and I'm the Texas Regional Coordinator at Phi Theta Kappa. This weekend we held our Texas Honors Institute at the University of North Texas and we had the privilege of hearing Cantus Simmons. Um, when I spoke with Cantus, I told him that we really wanted to end on a motivational note, that we wanted our students to leave feeling incredibly inspired. Well, I had no idea that he would be as incredibly dynamic as he was, motivational, and leave our students with really useful knowledge tools that would help them blaze a path for themselves and really find out who they are. Thank you, Cantus. We'll call on you again. Director of Campus Activities and Orientation at Viterbo University in La Crosse, Wisconsin. We had Cantus here to talk to our new students, the class of 2019, about academic success and setting goals for oneself while in college. It was a great educational experience for our students and a, wel a warm welcome to their new academic year. On behalf of all other college faculty, staff, administration, the community, we'd like to thank Mr. Uh, Cantus for coming over, being our presenter at our first annual Core for STEM event, Family Day. Very great, motivational. Um, he talked about giving students an assignment, and now we have our students an assignment to go uh, to get interactive with our classroom presentations, learn, and their future career will hopefully will be here at Palo Alto College or any university within the United States. Thank you, Mr. Candice. We greatly enjoyed it. Hey, I'm Chuck Gardner, principal of McLaren Success Academy. Um, I was just at the Believe uh, seminar with our young men here at the school. Um, several of them came up and commented about how impactful it was, uh, and they were really engaged throughout the uh, the presentation, so just really appreciated and knew it made a difference in the lives of our young men. Greetings, my name is Dr. Keisha Shoemaker. I am an associate professor here at the University of West Alabama, and it has been a privilege to work with our science and math majors in getting them involved with what Cantus Simmons is already doing across the nation. He's getting students energized, motivated, and inspired about science and math. Mr. Cantus Simmons is actually doing that, and so I would encourage you to invite him to your school to get your students motivated. It's going to be okay. Even though our baby boy is missing some of his fingers, our baby boy, 
he will still be great. Five, Theta Kappa, Kansas Simmons believes you guys are great. Play your A game. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much.